In this video, I'm going to be showcasing every single way you can bypass your flaws in the broken. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm super close to 2,000 subscribers, guys. And join my Discord server, discord.gg slash batslc for giveaways. And I'm going to be reviewing your guys' builds tomorrow and improving them. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's start the video. Squeamish is a flaw that basically makes you lose your hunger whenever you grip something. And the counter to this is actually pretty simple. You just pick up Carnivore and the requirements for Carnivore will be on screen. I believe it's like a bit of willpower and a bit of strength. And what it does is when you grip people or something that's alive or kill mobs, you basically gain your hunger back. So it counteracts Squeamish and you no longer have a flaw. Manic is actually a pretty simple flaw to counter. What it actually does is you gain insanity and you gain insanity damage faster. So like if you start scratching yourself and whatnot, you'll actually be dealing more damage to yourself. And when you start going insane, you go insane a whole lot faster. And the way to actually make this a positive is by picking up Lose Your Mind and Piercing Will. And what these two cards do is they actually end up increasing your damage the more insane you are. And when you have unfazed, you no longer scratch yourself, so the damage will not be an issue anymore either. The requirements for all these cards are currently on screen. Let's move on to the next. Philly is a card that causes you to lose blood a lot faster from sources that cause blood loss, such as mobs like Sharkos and weapons like Kier's Glaive, which deal bleed damage. Even talents like Speed Demon, which uh, basically just makes you deal more bleed damage when you get a speed boost. And honestly, this flaw isn't really that noticeable, but if you want to be safe, you can still run the 35 Flame Trump card Cauterized Wounds, which lessens bleed damage from all sources and allows you to essentially just get another free flaw. But even without it, I think you could just run this flaw and just be completely free. And this is definitely something I would definitely recommend running on every single build. The blind flaw is a flaw that is locked by obtaining the blind seer oath and what this does is essentially it just makes your character blind and you're unable to see just about anything or your sight is very limited and you basically like if you put on a blindfold without blind seer that's what you see the bypass of the flaw is obviously obtaining the blind seer oath and then you get your vision but that's a pretty obvious bypass so an added on feature that the devs added to this flaw is if you have the grandma race a buff for that race is that you will actually have better vision compared to the average player so if you are planning on progressing a blind seer and using this flaw, it's highly recommended that you do this on a grimoire. Next flaw we're talking about is obvious and this is probably the best flaw in game. And honestly, generally speaking, this is already a free flaw unless you're a PvE build. But even if you're a PvE build, this is a free flaw because you would obviously want mobs to come towards you. So no matter what, this is just good. But if you are like really lucky and you get Animal King, this turns into a free flaw as well because mobs aren't going to aggro onto you unless you want them to aggro onto you. So I thought I'd just mention this. But generally speaking, if you guys did not know, always take Obvious. It's super free and it's super useful and it's probably like the best flying game because you don't lose anything from it really. So uh, yeah. The final flaw in this video that I will be discussing is Fugitive and I was kind of not sure if I wanted to put this on the video because if you go Void Walker, the factions already pretty much hate you I'm pretty sure but as a Fugitive that is amplified a lot so it's not technically free but I thought it's worth adding or I think it's worth adding just because you know if you are down to just kill a few extra Etris versus authority events or authority versus Etris events whatever right and get that reputation back up then this is still technically a free flaw and it's pretty useful honestly like I would say if you don't mind grinding a little bit extra this is a pretty good flaw because at a certain point it won't really be an issue and if you actually go a certain talent I forgot what it is it might be on screen right now it's a charisma talent you'll actually end up countering this flaw slightly because your reputation gain will be greatly increased guys all right guys that's it for the video make sure to like and subscribe because i'm super close to 2000 subscribers and i'm doing a ton of giveaways in my discord server i will be starting one soon and uh yeah that's it thanks for watching and goodbye